Well, that year went by fast. What are you doing? Are you vlogging? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, as always, Zach Selesky, American football coach in Germany, but not yet, almost there. Happy, for those of you who are probably watching this, I know I'm actually filming this on New Year's Eve, but happy new year. Hope all of you guys have a safe and happy 2020. So obviously in, in 2019, uh, a lot of things happened. Obviously the first thing that, that happened was ended up going over to Germany, signed my first contract over in Germany. And that's kind of kick-started my year. In January, I left, as you guys saw. Uh, that's when I started vlogging. Uh, and then from there, season, you know, went through for nine months. Very long season. I think it's one of those things where you don't really expect how long it is until you really go through it. And uh, but then again, I had a lot of fun. Uh, Paderborn went nine and three this season, and uh, our defense had one of the top top five defenses in most categories um, in all of GFO3. So, cannot complain, and then on top of that, I was promoted from defense coordinator to head coach and doing both stuff now, but my first few memories, and, and I don't think I really documented it too well, um, it's kind of my fault really, was uh, our first preseason game over in Lipstadt. That was honestly the the craziest game I think I've ever been been at. I remember just being on the sidelines and, and calling our plays in and uh, one of the things I like to do usually is make sure I, I kind of live within the moment, look around every now and then, just kind of realize where I am so I don't rem so I don't forget you know essentially just those moments that sometimes they can just go quick you know and you just don't realize that how fast they go. Someone gets lift shot and uh, I, th I swear I think there's close to 3,000 people there for that game like it was it, it was intense, especially for like kind of a smaller city. Like it's that's a big deal. Uh, that was one of my biggest memories, and obviously a lot of the relationships that I formed this year uh, was just absolutely incredible. Just meeting a lot of German people and and just talking to a lot of different people from different walks of life. I mean, it just it's weird because I get to sit here now and think about it, but you know it's 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 just odd because you know you're kind of always in the zone. You're always in your, your mind's always in football when you're in season, then when you get back here, it's just kind of, you know, it's, it's almost you pick up where you left off in a way. So it's kind of kind of weird. It's, it almost seems like it's a dream sometimes. One of my favorite memories um, would honestly have to be obviously meeting a lot of, a lot of the German people and then um, uh, just kind of forging a lot of those relationships. You know, obviously, you know, we I got to stay in the flat with Kyle and, and uh, one of our players, Heiko, and I'm been... taking over. <laughs> what is up, guys? Zach Selesky, Mr. Kyle Fonts, with the Fonty stuff. Welcome back, guys. Hi. Zach Selesky, Kyle Fonts. Okay, Fonts. Selesky, Kyle Fonts. Selesky. I'm, I'm Kyle. Hello, Mr. Kyle Fonts. And we are Americans <laughs> in Germany. Y'all. <laughs> Fresh, Fresh off the plane. plane. <laughs> you already I, pointed at the wrong corner. I keep messing up every single <laughs> Talk you with me. <laughs> yeah, I came out with that neon shirt. Yeah, I was like, yellow tank top and we went to go walk. He was like, yeah, I think they'll see you, Dad. And Kyle's like, we can have a talk. A little bit nicer to each other. <laughs> nope. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you guys have it. That's our fun. As always, uh, Kyle's yeah. socials will be at the bottom or on screen because I just got yelled at for it. Yeah, and it's, it's, this may be my last video. <laughs> we'll find out as soon as this video comes he, out. He caught up on my videos and he's angry at me. I'm very angry. This is tough. Uh, that, like, like him. Like that guy. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be, it's going to be kind of weird to, to go back to Paderborn and, and you'll, you'll probably see them here and there. Obviously the, the, some of the things that I'm, I'm really happy that I got to do this year, um, is actually get to travel as much as I did in Germany. You still need a toilet? Yeah. There you go. There's a toilet here. Toilet here vorne, ne? Yes. Und das war früher die Toilette. Yeah, right. <laughs> I pooped through a hole. Yeah.
as you guys already saw, and I'll make sure I'll link that up in the iCard for you. Uh, basically, just go go see different Halloween locations. Like that's to me, that was such a big deal to me. Make sure that gets done. And I was excited. I was thoroughly excited to be able to do that to go on that road trip, um, especially after like a long season uh, like we had. Uh, which honestly, our season went well. It just you know, it's, it's just nice to go somewhere and recharge. You know, recharge mentally. And, and, it was great. Oh, you Germans are following me. One of the biggest highlights of 2019 for me personally was the vlogging. Uh, that's, you know, I, I really did not expect this thing to grow like it did. There's there's a lot of times I think this year I was like frustrated with myself because, you know, I was trying to manage coaching and then vlogging. And the parts of me was like, oh, my vlog should be bigger or, you know, this should be bigger. Like it just... To me, honestly, when I look back at it from this season, um, the vlog has grown just un at an unbelievable rate. <clears throat> Those, the growth at this year has been absolutely amazing. I think I started off the year, if I'm right, at, man, I think I probably started off the year right around like 55 subscribers. And I, as of today, it's like 1,027 or something like that. Which, you know, in a whole year, that's that's a huge, huge leap for sure. I actually got to Germany. That was not the plan for me. My my ultimate goal was, hey, let's document as much as I possibly can on top of coaching. Uh, obviously, I didn't have a whole lot of time. So the time I did have, I ended up just, you know, just shooting as much as I could. I'll at least be able to document as much as you possibly can on, on your off time. Um, and then on top of that, just be able to... Basically, just just have fun. Just have fun doing it. I I know you guys kind of give me crap for it. I, it it's really not me. I just put these things together. I throw them out there. Whoever watches it, great. But it's really it's for you guys. I mean, it means a lot that you guys even take the time out of your day to even watch it. So it's it's a big big deal to me. As far as the goals for 2020, and this is uh, this is a big one for me. Um, my main goal for mainly for the vlog is to continue to put out as much content as I can, uh, preferably at least twice a week. Uh, you, now that it's going to be a little bit harder now as a head coach, and I hope that when I'm, you know, when I have a little bit of free time, I'll be able to document a little bit here and there. But that being said, I definitely want to stick to the two to three times a week schedule. Usually in season, I try to do about three, three videos a week, but at least two. Um, that's kind of where I want to be with it. And then on top of that, my goal is to at least by the end of the season be over 5,000 subscribers. I think that's kind of a safe area to be in. I think as long as I can get over 5,000, I think that's a good stepping stone. I'm just, I'm setting goals for myself to make sure at least this year to take the next step forward. Uh, that's a big one. And obviously, um, I hope to have a little bit more game day, a little bit more behind the scenes game day vlog type vlogs type of action like that that's a big deal for me uh thanks to you guys as well that after this year we are finally finally monetized on the platform which is a big deal uh it's a it's a huge huge deal because i think at the beginning of this this year i really didn't expect to be at this point i think i only expected to be at 500 subscribers so the fact that we're at this point now it's it's exciting Obviously, the the one the one thing I really do want to thank uh, after 2019 for me personally is obviously Paderborn Dolphins for uh, for giving me an opportunity for not just this this past season but this season coming up as well. Uh, I really it was I can kind of came from a bad situation before Germany, and so just to be able to come into Germany and just settle in and just kind of take just make the best of something is is great you know i'm excited for this season coming up uh, if you guys are ever in the paderborn area 
uh, definitely come check us out in 2020. Just hit me up if you guys need anything. Really fortunate to to even forge the relationships that we had, not just on the staff, but uh, with the players and then, you know, everybody else that was around town in Paderborn. I mean, just, it was great. And obviously everybody else that I met, obviously Jacob, punting for the people. We, him and I got to do a vlog, post it up in the iCard. Once again, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for just even, not only subscribing, but even just watching the content. I mean, that's, to me, that's huge. So, um, you guys mean a lot to me, and, Hey, here's the 2020 guys. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming! <laughs>